So today we're going to talk about how to catch all those form with the different shapes, different values. If you're a member of Enjoying Art, now you can come to our learning center to view the full video and download the reference. Paper is 9 by 12. Let's take a look at the composition. Okay. I'm going to take a look at how, more, how much I'm going to include. I'm going to take a look at the face over here. Definitely I'm going to include the leg. So the face over here, this is really, really helpful with your hand. <laughs> I take a look at the head. It's very much like a one third, right? From here, one third on the back and except a little bit here coming on this, on very much the back, right? On the back. And there's the front over here. There's another one third. So if you see it big, think about big, and you will be able to discover those relationships. So I'm going to have the top of the hair over here and take a look, take a look at, and the chin is got to get down to almost like a half. So this is will be the chin. Okay, here we go. So, the, and there's the back over there. Here you go. So I want you to be, have no fear when you're doing the watercolor painting because it's no fun. There's is a have that much fear with you, and then there's just the hair over here. You can see that the hair is like an orange brown color, and coming over here, that nose, the nose can be a little bit higher. So I'm gonna paint the nose over here a little bit high like that, and lift the tip of the nose a little bit light. That's just good, like that. Okay, move this a little bit higher. Okay, this is just a simple drawing. I'm gonna mix a little bit more brown color and continue my drawing. Okay, so this is would be the shadow. I don't wanna paint that much up over there because I'm gonna reserve that. That shape, I'm gonna using scratch to revide, hopefully, revide the, the light lines for the whiskers. So now I'm going to plan on their hand and I'm going to put the hand just a little bit higher. Okay, right over here. So here you go. So pretend that he is putting the face a little bit lower like that. That's here you go. Right over here and look like this is, can be a little bit higher. And compare the shape of the, the the paw, right, with the head and or the whole body, you can find the correct location and proportion. Okay, that's good. Now the front of the that connector over here connect all the way up over here. This is the front, right? So now you can see. Oh, this is the mouth. Okay, here you go. Right over here. That's the mouth. And we're just going to paint. We don't need to worry too much about, oh, I cannot make it look like a photograph. This is not our intention. Okay, it's very much the big location. We already have it done. So I'm gonna do a couple more um, really quick suggestions to confirm it. The back over here and the hair coming down. Here you go. And then the back compared to the nose. The nose is will be here, so the back uh, use the angular measurement. By the way, if for some member still have problem about drawing, comparing, proportion, please take a look at our offer for the spring semester and uh, enjoying our classes that is showing all the uh, 12 weeks training programs that you can sign up for the spring. Okay. The part over here, this is good, like that. The back over here, right here. And it looks like this is, can be even a little bit higher, right? It may be shorten this space a little bit and make it even make it more fun, okay? Like that, coming up a little bit. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm gonna come in here to divide the light side, shadow side, you see? Between here and there, this part, this is the big shape for the hair, right? That's right in the middle. So right here, like that, a little bit. And that ear was sitting there, almost like in the shadow. Okay, 
that's good make that a little bit softer and that should be the shape for the shadow side but we're going to do that like a one time coming down okay that's another shape on the cheek okay keep looking for shapes and you can make your painting experiences much much more relaxing because we're using the visual elements and everything we think about we want them to be useful we're going to try to manage the composition for the entire painting okay faster the better i'm gonna put it over here put some little green color over there i'm gonna get a little bit more blue color okay here we go a little bit more red so having this large brush it will be very very helpful because you can cover the places much faster right okay now coming down over here i'm gonna change that to other color you don't have to make it that clear okay okay here we go now i'm going to change to other colors now let the background a little bit soft that's just fine i'm going to get a little bit yellow color okay a little bit yellow color i'm going to drop it in here like that i'm going to start painting into the light side take the red color it's very important at this step you try to manage all the colors composition that's very important. So if you get the balance at this step, and you're going to be very well, very well to get into the smaller shape. Now I'm going to take this, put it in the top over here. Based on the bigger shape, I can see the smaller shape. This is the, the light shape of the eye. Your mind got to be really, really focused and saying what you're looking for, what you're trying to do. This is very important. Our prints as a gift product a gift idea is ready there's a little bit brown color so in the shadow right i'm gonna just make a little bit more blue color into it you can get the color look like a little bit brown gray color here you go like that now i'm going to continue going into the bigger shape the bigger shadow now let's see looking for the big shape now there's two color together that's what's good. You have a little bit brownish, right? You get a little bit yellow color. And here you go. That's what's good. A little bit more yellow. And start from the top. Here you go. Here you go. And the whole ear also in the shadow. Like that. You see how important it is. Start from looking for analyze the big shape. Okay, here you go. After you get the light side, the shadow side presented, and it will look like three dimensional. Just looking for the shape. Now I'm going to go into making wet into wet to much darker color in the shadow side. Here you go. Now I'm going to have this a little bit soft coming over here. Now here we go. Now the bottom over here, a little bit darker. Now I'm going to use a smaller brush. Now here we go. Use the calligraphy brush. And I'm going to come in here to continue the shadow side. Okay, look at the paw. The hand down over here. Here you go. I'm going to take a look at from here. Here you go. A little bit darker. Screen your eye if you don't see the shadow. We're going to paint it into this catch the shadow we get the shadow side in the correct value so we don't have the back and forth multiple times so after scratch and that's very much it right now i want to take a look at over here right on the face right here think about it before you start painting okay here we go right here and on the cheek you always can find the right suggestions okay that's good i even painted it into the eye that's a little shadow we can add the detail a little bit later or we can remove something if we don't want it okay here we go now when you're getting down over here and the shape get a little bit more orange Okay, get some yellow and the red. 
That's the orange color. I'm gonna have a little bit more orange. Beautiful. I'm gonna have a little bit more, just orange color. A little bit red. Do a little bit quicker. And those colors is not really, really uh, wet. So we calculate maybe less than the four minutes. That's the time we have. Okay, try to go into scratch to getting the light shape. I think that's coming off a little bit more. Okay, coming down over here. Here we go. Get a little bit darker color under the cheek over here. You go right in this location. There's a little brown. Okay, that's good. So this shape is already created. And I'm going to add, that's pretty good, very critical. I'm going to have a little bit more like yellow and green color. Like over here underneath. Think about how dark and then think about what color, how to mix it. Okay. That's good. Now I'm going to leave a little bit off over here. Now the clock start ticking. And now I'm going to use the dry brush, open up a little bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, the nose over here, we can do more a little bit later. It's not the time sensitive. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have this a little bit softer. That's good. And take a look of that. And I'm gonna have a little bit darker brown color. Get the yellow color and the red color mixed with this color. It's much darker. Okay, here we go. A little bit more yellow. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna put that a little bit darker over here. Here we go, very soft. That's good. Also a little bit darker over here too. Like that. That's pretty good. Now take a look again. I'm gonna lift up a little bit light shape over here. Just a little bit. Have some reflected light. Okay, look at that. Look at that shape. That's how critical, how important to get the shadow shape correctly. I'm a little bit softer over here while we're waiting. For that to be ready. I think it's almost ready. I'm gonna on the outside over here. Also going to have a little bit edge. This is pellet knife. This is a little bit sharper. Let's take a look. Okay. Here we go. If you can have something a little bit smaller, even probably better. Very, very deep colors after you dry, it just look like black. Okay, here we go. Now, under the nose over here, take a look. Where is it? Right here. Look again, observe. Okay, here we go. Coming in here, look again. It's coming up over here. That's good. All right. Coming over here, right? That's good. And another shape over here, connect that to the nose. Just think about a shape, big shape, smaller shape. And then I'm gonna have a little bit lighter color connecting up over there. Okay, now I'm gonna take a look at the mouth over here. Anything is all Define created by using the shape with the correct value and color, of course. Okay, but the value is very important. Now here, here we go. Now take a look at the shape. So you don't need to worry about all those smaller details. You would be able to get to it a little bit later. But the balance of the whole painting that you have to do in the beginning, at the beginning stage. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna come a little bit softer. Okay, now I'm gonna add a shadow over here. <laughs> the tiger look a little bit sad right now. And I'm gonna come in over here. Connect the color up over here, hopefully. 
to change the expression. I'm going to also have a little bit more suggestions for a little here coming down over here. I'll leave a little light shape like that. That's good. Now coming a little bit higher. Now painting around the whisker that we already created with this scratching. Okay, that's good. Okay. Getting more and more look like a tiger. Okay, that's good. Like that. And I think the top can be a little bit higher. So I'm gonna just the water. I'm gonna have this a little bit higher. Okay, that's good. And now I'm gonna set a little bit darker color over here showing the face just put a little bit color here we don't need that much okay a little bit over here that's good a little bit over here oh that's good i like that i'm gonna make a little bit trans uh transition that's good coming over there and i'm gonna come in to take a look at the nose Right. I'm gonna take this color. It's not really as dark as but at the bottom of the nose, and a little big triangle right here. Just keep thinking about shapes, triangle. How dark that would be. I'm gonna have this shape connect down over here. Okay, here we go. Like that. Very pretty good. Now. Get a little bit orange color, a little bit red orange color in the middle over here. Okay, don't want to paint it all the way, touch that because I don't want it to be almost together. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to come to the eye. Okay, I'm going to get a little red. That's good. A little bit lighter, that's good, like that. Take a look in the corner over here and painting around over here. Now I'm going to use a much darker color. I already have that here. Uh, take a look at in here. It has a darker shadow. Okay, like that. That's good. Okay. That's good. There's the iris. And I'm going to have a little shape coming down over here too. On the side over here, there's a little big soft shape over there. Ooh, I'm going to have a little bit orange brown color over here. Okay, that's good. A little shape over here. And I'm going to have this side showing a little bit clear between the hair and the forehead. That's good. Okay, a little bit yellow. Okay, a little bit over here. A little bit shape coming over here. And here you go, like that. I'm gonna have a little bit of dry texture and the front over here. Here you go. Just looking for the texture. And it would feel like rocks. Texture to over here too. Okay, a little bit texture over here too. It's now feeling like, oh, this is rocks. You have to give enough evidence. Texture is another visual element. So we can use, All right? This is this is good. Now take a look at the top over here. That looks fine. This is great. And look at the back over here. We're probably gonna have a little suggestions. The thing that a little bit closer to us, like over here, maybe have a little bit dried, simple texture. A little bit over here. I'm gonna have a little bit defined something a little bit closer. That's good. Okay, uh, on the 
nice side over here. I'm gonna keep a little bit of orange color. That's good, like that. Okay. Okay, the top I'm gonna to lift up a little bit, light shape on the top of the here. I'm gonna create a little bit better definitions. Okay, over here a little bit more rounded. Just use the corner of this flat brush. That's good. Okay, have a little bit light shape, very small shape going into that. Okay, that's good. Okay. That's very good. I'm going to give a little texture to the top over here and some dots. Okay, here we go. A little bit more brown mesh color. Okay, here we go. Coming in a little bit in here. That's good. Okay. And then here we go. I'm going to put some dot over here like that. Okay, that's good. A little bit more orange color over here. That also enhance the scratch. That's good. Okay. That's very nice. Soften that a little bit. And more and more suggestions you're going to give it to the painting. It's going to make the painting more and more come to life. Okay. Here we go. Have a little bit more orange color coming over here. That's good. Underneath the mouth, I'm going to have a little bit more underneath the nose. Actually, have a little bit more red color. But not really, really, really dark. Just a little bit, now is the time. Just keep a little bit like that over there. I'm gonna have this color connect over here. Like that, see you go. Now you can see the side over here. We can add a little bit orange color. Make it feel like this. Right there here, okay, here we go. Here we go, that's good. Now we give a little bit stronger separation between that here over here and that's good over here that's the hair on the, on the outside and I'm gonna have a little bit more red over here make it a little bit stronger that's good like that okay and now the painting actually start from really 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 rough and coming more and more 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 better better suggestions okay one last touch over here this need to be small curving over here that's the body over here that's good and take a look at this is already good enough i'm gonna have the outside over here also have some suggestions of a little catch the shadow okay so make that a little bit interesting dynamic okay and maybe over here have that a little bit line over there a small, consider a very smaller shape to divide the background okay that's good a little bit like that maybe here a little bit thicker shape i'm gonna have a little bit stronger brown color also here suggesting the color yeah, to reflect it on it and also a little bit over here a little bit brown color over here that's good